What is up nerds, this is Crash here with another mapping update, which big surprise is going to be a lot about Glassworks again. So as you've seen from the last few videos on it, uh, I've had a few UGC playtests, the big one being the Platinum one, and then I've had another one recently. Um, they've all gone really good, so everything is on track. Um, it's actually, the map is going to be brought up at the next UGC meeting that they have, where they sit down and talk about weapon balancing and maps and... Just, just basically the, the big meeting they have. Um, it's getting brought up by one of the members of the council or whatever they call it. And they're going to possibly be, be discussing putting it in the preseason, regular season. Uh, so that's very exciting and I need to do a lot more work <laughs> before then. Uh, that's like in September, I believe. Um, so I still have a ways to go, but that's a frighteningly short amount of time. So I have to start cracking down. Um, the next big news on Glassworks is there is a heat map plugin getting created by Instant Muffin, the guy behind Prop Hunt TNG. Uh, it's basically a new plugin that records a ton of data during regular gameplay and converts it to data that is being applied to a top-down view of the map. Uh, this is huge for a mapper because I've never been able to have access to that kind of data. It's always been watching gameplay live or playing it myself and seeing how it plays. This could show me exactly where areas are getting played, where the most deaths are happening on the map. So, uh, you know, obviously I'm, something like Glassworks is going to be right around the control points. But I'm going to be able to find out if, say, a route isn't used as often, or if there's a really absurd sniper lane that I'm not even thinking about and I'm not catching yet, or if there's just this channel of death that could use a little bit more cover. It, I'm very, very excited about getting to use this plugin. However, this plugin is in its really early stages, so it needs to be tested really, really thoroughly. TF2Maps.net just had a poll on what map they want to run during a massive three-hour-long test, uh, which is just basically to fine-tune the program, to collect a ton of data all on one map, just to just, just make sure the program's working right before they release it to the you know, general map testing on the server. And a poll was held recently to vote on which map they wanted tested during that three-hour period, and Glassworks won. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, I'm going to get a ton of data from it. Uh, as soon as I find out a date and time, I'll try to put, throw it in one of my videos and let you guys know, so maybe some of, you, some of my subscribers can join. I'd love to see you guys out there playing it with me. Um, and I'm going to try to be there during the whole duration if possible, as long as it lands on a time period that I can do that, which they're kind of trying to do. And in other news on the map, I'm going to be throwing in a couple of the vehicle props that were uh, entered into the Face Punch TF2 Emporium Vehicle Prop Pack Contest. Basically, they held a contest for vehicle-related models for mappers to use. And a lot of cool stuff got added in. I've got a couple uh, construction vehicles, and there's just a whole lot of cool stuff getting uh, added into the, you know, mappers palette, if you will. <laughs> Also, I have a couple custom models getting created by Ali, which you may know as the creator of Suijin, which was a really cool arena, King of the Hill map. Um, oh god, I'm never going to pronounce this right. Kyo... Kikoku? Kikoku? Sure. Uh, which was the winner of the two skill sets contest recently for part one and two, because she's crazy. Uh, she also made escarpment and the map Windmill Trainsaw, which was the inspiration for Trainsaw Laser. And she was a major content creator for the Japan content pack. So she's a really good modeler, and I'm very stoked to have her working on some models. So hopefully I'll get to show those off soon. Um, also, I have kind of taken a step back from Glassworks a little bit. I'm trying to look at it as a whole now, and I'm going to try to start thinking outside of the box a bit with my detailing. I've sort of just been applying textures and detailing the basic blocking that I've already put there and not really expanding much beyond it. Um, but I'm going to do something different here soon. I think I'm going to change some major things and there should be some big changes visually to the map soon. Uh, but there's lots of work to be done and I, I really want it to be perfect so it's going to take a long time still. Um, and I really need to sit down and start thinking about lighting because I've got all my temporary lighting in there. Anyway, non-Glassworks news finally. Uh, end of the line. Dun dun dun. So uh, I just wanted to brag that I know some things about the map getting added. I've played it. I've been a part of the testing group uh, with TF2Maps.net that is working on the map, that is helping them make it really good. But I can't say anything about it, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to brag a little bit. Um, I have been recording whenever I'm there. I haven't made it to all the tests, but I've made it to, to most of the early ones. And I'm going to try to get into more of them uh, as long as I'm available during them, which I haven't been in the past few of them. Uh, but I've been recording, so once the map is out, maybe if I get permission, I can show off some of the early versions of it. Um, and plus, I did a really, really cool sniper run that I can't show anybody right now, and it's really pissing me off because I like was just doing these insane up-close shots, and just I just went crazy. So yeah, uh, you'll see some of that in the future, hopefully, from me, and if not, I can kind of talk about it once the map is out. And in other projects of mine, news, I've been working on Prop Hunt Trainsaw Laser some more, which I should be able to release hopefully soon. I've been testing it out on my server a bunch, and uh, Power Lord, the guy who's working on the uh, Prop Hunt Redo uh, plugin, he's been kind of 
helping me out a little bit, talking me through some things. And I, I just have to do some adjustments, and hopefully soon I'll be able to uh, release a version of that. Um, in addition to that map, I've been also plugging away on the trade map job I've mentioned a couple times, which is getting to be a bit intense because I can't do things half-assed. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm doing some fancy stuff with that. Maybe I'll be able to show that at some point. And finally, I had an idea that I was kind of thinking about doing a monthly subscriber contest using my fancy Plinko machine that I came up. Uh, and I could give away, like, strange weapons and hats and whatever else, you know, maybe another map-related thing or something in a video or whatever. But before I start doing that, I might want to release a new version of the Plinko machine because I can't ever just release one version of something. I always have to improve on it. Um, I'm kind of obsessive with that sort of thing, if you haven't gathered. Uh, but the main reason why I want to do that is I wanted to clean up how the, the ball falls a little bit and make it a little bit more random because I noticed it kind of just goes down in like a narrow corridor, how it gets originally launched. And I'd want it bouncing around more. I want to go crazy with it um, because that's what I do. Um, and I also wanted to make a new version so it's 1 through 100 instead of 1 through 78 because that's a really weird arbitrary number. But that's exactly how many I needed for the, the last contest I did. Uh, but anyway, I've already had an offer from a friend slash uh, member of my home server community. Uh, he, he offered to donate some really nice stranges to the cause, so I, I might take him up on that and I might have to do a monthly little contest for my subscribers and all you have to do is like put a comment in the video or whatever, something like that, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, uh, maybe in the next month or two I will start that up. So let me know what you guys think about all this, let me know if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below, and if you haven't, please like and subscribe.